I am at the IBC 2019. I'm at the Exxon booth, and this is Ian Hollemby from Exxon, and we are going to look at Cerebrum, which is a broadcast monitoring and control system. The reason for me standing here is because recently you decided to integrate with Skahoy panels, which of course I like, but I really want Ian to show you what Cerebrum can do, what it is, how it works, and um, this is why I will leave it over to you to continue. Okay. Well, uh, we started Cerebrum as a controller monitoring system 12 years ago, um, and since that time we've been developing more and more user interfaces uh, for more and more products within the broadcast space. And from a Cerebrum point of view, we're always interested in putting different user interfaces together. That's what we do. It's all about making the operational uh, interface as relevant to the uh, customer as we can. And that might be a software user interface like we have on the screen here. It might be one of our traditional routing interfaces, or indeed it might be one of a, a number of different user interfaces that we can buy from a third party like Skype. Right. So what I've seen at your booth is you have some really beautiful hardware panels with yep. a classic matrix layout of push buttons, smart yep. switches with labels in them and yep. so forth. And uh, many of our panels, um, uh, we have some panels which are kind of the same, but we also have panels with a completely different form factor and layout specifically designed for applications like camera control switching and yep. also PTC control and so forth. And this is where we have a synergetic relationship to what you're doing. Yeah. But uh, should we, can we take a look at the software here? Sure. Um, yeah. So what we show kind of down the left hand side is a, a list of all the devices. Uh, and those devices are the devices that we not only control, but also are the user interfaces uh, that we have on the system. I see you, Skahoy Fly Uno on the right, right there. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, one of the devices would be the panel that we're physically connected to now, and I can actually see that user interface. I can see what the status of that user interface is, and I can actually interact back with that within our user interface. Uh -huh. Or indeed, I can go to the user interface itself, uh, press a button and actually see. So you have how a soft interface, back. you have a hard interface, you know, it's yeah. like yeah, working. So down. again, the user is able to configure those buttons in whatever they want to, to control whatever device was within the Cerebrum ecosystem. What have you got here for this demonstration setup? So in practice, we're, we're simulating a, a physical router on the system. Okay. So we see then the cross point status. Uh -huh. And then when we kind of make changes, then we can see actually how that interacts with the physical devices. Uh, we have also a virtualization of a switcher. That we don't have a physical okay. switcher here. Uh -huh. But as I change the switcher tally, you see that the underneath the scar oh, we're actually right. got the tally You're following. That, yeah. So we're actually showing the, the route that's on uh, to the button on the button itself. And then underneath we're showing that status LED as the tally that's actually taken to the source. So the user can pretty much configure what they want a user interface to do with a form designer. Yes. And that form designer could be totally different for one customer to another in terms of how they use your product right. uh, within a Cerebrum environment. So um, my interest, of course, is this interface here, built-in software, does not exist physically anywhere here, but you have, a, you have chosen to map that tally over to that one. So how Correct. do you actually do that in the software? So in practice, from a, a user interface designer point of view, I can actually go to a particular user interface that I'm editing, and then I can load that user interface up and then assign functionality to that as a drag and drop type okay. interface. So as a routing example, so this is a mimic of the user interface within a designer. And then I can go to the properties of a particular element within okay. that designer. Uh -huh. And then I can see a template that I've assigned to it along with the source that I've associated with that. Right, okay. And again, that can be a drag and drop type of interface. Uh -huh. uh, and again, completely customized from one customer to another. So nothing fixed about that functionality. What one customer will do with it will be totally different than another customer will do with it. And that's why we like the beauty of integrating uh, to third-party vendors like yourself, because we haven't got the money to afford to 
generate some of the control panels that you right. produce. Mm -hmm. uh, the volume will be too low for us, mm -hmm. but they can go to a company like you. We're knowing that we have a good tight integration between the two companies, and then they can both benefit from that. Right. Yeah, you do what you do best, and you focus, and we do what we do best. Yeah, I like that. Fantastic. Um, do you have any ending uh, words? It's been a pleasure kind of integrating the two products. It's been very easy to do that, mm -hmm. so that's, that's uh, always a good thing. And uh, hopefully then you win business, we win business, and the customer is happy, which ultimately is the goal of the objective. I hope so too. Okay. Good working with you. Yeah. Nice to.